Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Reality Kingdom, where we talk about all things reality TV or whatever. Oh. I am. I am your host, Pharaoh, and I'm joined by wonderful, 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 w
Like, in an open homeless? relationship. Like, dude. Is homeless? Is, are you homeless? I don't know. Like, I don't know. And if you're homeless, Darren, you don't need to be taking care of nobody. Child. So Ricky has his intro. And he's like, I'm actually here to get back with Darren. Like, I'm my focus is on Darren, and I want Darren to be with me. I think I fucked up. And I like that, but it's giving the bare minimum. Like, you could have had it all. You could have had it all. Ooh, I ate that up. Anyway. It's crazy because, like, he's one of the only dudes here right now that are, like, really invested in the girl they kind of, you know, mm-hmm. messed up with. And it's like, but you so much your own bag. Like, damn. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like you really fuck up your own situation. So, like, can I even be, you know, can I feel can bad? Not can really. I even root for you? I will say, if I had to choose anybody to be rooting for, I guess it's Ricky. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because these other niggas ain't shit and we gonna get to it. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. No, Darren is basically like, what the fuck? Darren is basically like, honestly, I feel like he needs to feel what I felt. So this is like the second, third person who said this. I don't know. Lee, what you think about that whole, I want to get back at them. David, I mean, Mike kind of said the same thing about Arise. Like, I want her to feel how I felt. And Darren's like, I'm going to flirt with everybody else. And it's like, I don't I know. Think, I think it's on. The, that's the, that part is just childish. But like at the same time, like, you know, they're on a reality show. They're having fun. I feel like it's definitely, that is for more for TV. Like, I want to get back at them. Yeah. It's just like, okay, girl. Right, okay. Girl. I don't know why Ricky was so mad. David is literally a bottom. Girl, so let me tell you what happens. Basically, so Ricky enters the house. He meets everybody. Um, He meets David first, and they apparently have a conversation. It doesn't matter. So um, we get to, like, late night where they're all partying, and they're drunk, and they're drinking and stuff. And basically, Darren is like, um, it's my chance. Let me. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's my very, chance. Very planned and thought out. Let me. Okay. Well, first, David is dared to kiss Darren. So David and Darren kiss during the Truth or Dare segment. So they kiss, but Ricky's kind of like, ah, kee, 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 kee. He has Darren. He's like, mm, why are they kissing? That's annoying. But I'm still going to kee, kee, kee about it. So later on, a few minutes later, Darren's like, this is my chance. So her and David are talking. Mind Ricky you, the whole, time they, the, the whole time they really talking about Ricky. So it really wasn't nothing. But she's like ha- trying to flirt and trying to make it seem like, mm, I want him to be jealous of me. Mind you, David, the bottom. Mind you, David. Mind you, David is a whole bottom. Anyways, so. <laughs> so Darren and David is fake flirting. And Ray messy ass, child. Ray so damn messy. Ray is messy as hell. I didn't know what was You see Ricky over here bad as hell. Ricky already pressed. Ray talking about some Ricky. Go over there. You should go over there and break that up. <laughs> go break that up. What? Meanwhile, Ricky over there drunk. He not even on that. Mad as hell. Mad as hell. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? Like it was like. It, like he just like he he just set off like literally I didn't pay attention to Ray manipulating him because out like it it was like a two seconds like he was up and yelling and mad and it's like it was like what is going on and then David got butt too I was like okay the girls are fighting and then oh. so and me and Sarah both laughed at this so but <laughs> <laughs> David and Ricky are going back and forth yelling at each other and then they just cut to Darren and she's just. Stop! Just like stop! <laughs> it was real sharp. She wasn't doing nothing. She ten feet away. So like, can they like, even hear her? It felt like a late reaction. <laughs> like you can just tell she was so drunk. It was just like stop. They've been arguing for ten minutes. Stop! What? <laughs> Darren, what are you gonna do? Like, I don't know. They, they literally in each other's faces, and then he go right over on the side, talking about something. I didn't think it was gonna be right at <laughs> right. Girl, you know bye. exactly what the fuck that was gonna be. Girl, boom. So d- basically, Darren and Ricky is is Darren trying to make Ricky jealous. Ricky trying to get Darren back. Honestly, I'm kind of rooting for Darren and Ricky. Um, I really kind of I think they're really cute together, and like, like he really is. Like, like I said, he does seem very, very genuine. And it's like, girl, if you all of this try to make him, it's not gonna work because David is caught up in his own little love triangle. Like, don't, oh. don't try to involve you in his mess, because girl, 
speaking of David and his mess, mind you, no, none of David's exes have even came in the damn. And he in the most mess. And he in the most mess. So, child. As you know, last episode, Mike and David done kissed behind Aris back. Aris don't know. Aris and Mike are exes, but David kind of like Aris and Aris kind of like Mike and Mike kind of like David and David kind of like Aris and Aris kind of like David. And it's like, damn, the gays are gaying. Child, so. <laughs> Child, so basically, bitch, at the beginning of the episode, Aris, Mike, and Davon, why is Davon mediating like she and fucking Big Brother? <laughs> Girl, they are not for the one they show It's okay. Devon. So Devon is mediating the conversation between a recent Mike. And basically she's talking to uh, Mike and she's like, Mike, do you think a is your person? Do you think this is your person for real? Mike lying ass. Mind you, Mike lies unprovoked. I you wanted like, to provoke me? I'm provoked. <laughs> I don't like, I, I really, I personally like, I can't get past Mike specifically just wanted to be there for good TV. And like, and it's like the thing about Mike is that like for me it's not good TV because I can tell you're kind of doing it on purpose. Like in the in the in the confessionals, oh, am I toxic? Oh, did I was that a lie? Mm, I don't know. It's like, girl, like you're girl. not cute. I don't know. And if you're actually hey. playing with a recent feelings like that, it's like it's unnecessary. Like it's mm -hmm. just like you're doing all of this for what? Um, because like earlier, I honestly thought, child, that is Aris and Mike, they mm -hmm. like they're besties. That's that is her good good girlfriend, mm -hmm. you know. Now I can see a little bit more romantic connection, but it's clear that he didn't, he is just there to, like he said, play her. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, do stunts and shows. And I think it honestly is just, I don't know, it's just Yeah. It's and like public information. It's just like it's just weird. At a point I thought Aris kind of felt the same, like I'm just here for TV, but honestly. Arise isn't giving stunt queen. Arise isn't in all of this. Like Arise is minding her business. When she has a diary room, it's a it's a normal, regular diary room. When she's talking to Mike, it genuinely looks like she's just trying to get with Mike. Like it doesn't exactly. seem like all of this hoopla and and blah 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 blah. And I feel bad for Arise because well, I don't feel bad. I feel like Arise and David really need to just fuck Mike, like say fuck Mike and get together themselves mm -hmm. because Mike is the problem. Is what it what seems like. Which is a possibility because they had a little, they were dared to do a three way kiss, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, look really, really hot, you know, mm -hmm. love to see love that. that. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, and then later on in the episode, we get a, you know, a, a solo conversation with David and Mike, and they're basically talking about like Mike is basically telling David essentially, like, I don't know if I really want to be with Aris, like, are we really going to be together? Like, he's basically telling him, like, we're not really together, together like that. And then David mm -hmm. had a confession, and he mentioned, like, um, I feel like there's an opening. Mm -hmm. Now we don't know who that opening is with because you know he is bisexual. It could be with a Reese, it could be with Mike. He did not specify. I'm assuming it's a Reese, but it could be Mike Chad. It could be Mike. <laughs> um I think David doesn't know who he likes. I think David is there to have fun and his ex not here, so he's having fun. I think Mike is trying to play both of them. Which is weird because even if you're doing this for TV, these are still their feelings. Arise doesn't know that David and Mike kiss. Like Arise thinks like he might be trying to actually get back with me, which exactly. is like weird. Like you playing with these people's feelings and for what? And David is thinking, oh, I might have a shot. Well, I don't know who he's talking about, but David might think he has a shot with Mike. And it's like, you might not, babe. Like Mike might not give a fuck about you, babe. Like I don't like it at all. Mike is giving That's like, why I, I'm really, I really hope that um, I can't wait to David's ex come. Like whenever, because I feel like mm -hmm. hopefully you know he can do his own thing instead of bounce around. Everybody else got damn business, <laughs> and then maybe Mike can focus more on the Reese. Because yeah. I feel like at that point, if he's only forced to focus on Reese, it's like okay, calm the stunts down and actually you know do exactly, something. exactly. Stop playing with this girl heart because it's weird. Quite literally. So we don't know how that's gonna go. It's still a love triangle right now, and how we gonna see now the main. The main how the main drama this episode. <sighs> oh my god. My sister. Oh god. What? I just want to preface this by saying Jamar ain't shit. <clears throat> Jamar really is just not shit. I think Jamar is just the epitome of not shit, nigga. Um NSN. <laughs> Literally. If you Those Google you can't say their best. Ain't shit, nigga. It's gonna be Jamar. 
it's just it's bad. Like it's like how, and how old is he? Hold on, let me Google this. 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 Cause he's acting like he's an eight like a high schooler. He's acting like a child, I fear. Jamar is giving like freshman in high school and I'm I'm light skinned, so I get the hold. Like Jamar is giving he twenty three. Too damn old. That's my age. He, too damn age. old. No, 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 no. Too damn old for me to be acting like how he acting. Jamar is a child. That's what he act. But you know, Dave Ross said in the episode, like, what, what the hell was she doing? Period. What was she doing? <clears throat> what was she- child? Let me tell you what happened. She was bored. And she was bored. So, as you recall, Devon and Jamar was having a long distance relationship. They was talking, Kiki Ken. Um, and then Jamar went a big brother and he had a whole damn show, man, with Men Lee. Whole damn soul man's with Men Lee. Oh, so yeah. that's that's where we start off at, right? And Jamar and Davon having conversations, and Jamar is basically like, Yes, Davon, I really am trying to be here. Davon's like, Are you for real, like trying to be here to get back with me? Or what's up? You like me? Do you have feelings for me? Whole episode, Jamar's like, Yes, Davon, I'm trying to get back with you. I got feelings for you. Ah, ah, ah. Child, he have a conversation with Carol. Jamar has a conversation with Carol. And Jamar, Carol asked him the same questions Davon has been asking him. His answer went from yes to, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Niggas ain't fucking shit. And I understand Carol is a bad bitch, okay? Mm -hmm. Every time Carol on the screen, the eyes will turn, okay? Like, of course, Carol Carol probably the best bitch in the goddamn house. Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest, you know? Mm -hmm. So I definitely understand, but it's like, why, like, why are you just so okay with making this girl look stupid on TV? Like, that's the main thing. And then, like, I feel like that's, like, that's one day, thing Dave Vaughn is just not going to tolerate. That's why you'll see at the end she was so done with him because you just, you're making her look stupid. Like, she's a grown-ass woman. She has bigger and better things going on. You're making her look stupid for what? For what? You know, your 15 minutes of fame? It's it's oh, not man. cute. It's childish. It's just like, on the, and she said it. She should have never been dealing with that. Mm-mm. Mind you, Carol not even checking for that nigga. Ray is right there looking fine and you know, voluptuous. A man. A man. She looking like a man. A man. A man. Like, Carol, Carol Jamar, you ain't nothing on no me. Like, like, oh, Why would Carol? She fine, but you're not having her. She, she, you, you're, not, you're not touching her. Child, so Jamar and Davon have... Uh, Jamar has told Davon one thing. He's told Carol one thing, but... We move, and they also kiss at the truth of dare. They get they kiss at the truth of dare real good. Ooh. Seven seconds. <laughs> Child, that was a. They good had kiss. got into that kiss. I, my, my girl was feeling that kiss. I, you know what? And that's the thing. And that's the thing. Oh. And that's why. And that's how you know he ain't shit. Cause he he fine. He fine. And he, you know he is. I would. He knew, I would he that, all, all all ain't shit aside. I, I hate things. I would definitely do some things. I can't lie, but but he still ain't shit. Still ain't I shit. hate a nigga who know it though. Like yeah, he know he he, he really out here in his mind. Like I could get any bitch, and I'm gonna do it. He truly that. Yep. Yeah. And he believes that. Like in the core of his heart. My thing is, I don't think he could get Caro, but he definitely could not. We digress. Um, girl, moving along. Um, Davon and Jamar done kiss. Jamar been telling Davon that he want to be with her, but he been telling her something else. And then we get to the Summer of Secrets. That's not what it's called. The <laughs> the Shack of Secrets. The, the Shack of Secrets. I don't even know if that's a, that real name. I forgot honestly. It's we of get secrets. to the it's SOS. Whatever SOS stands for, the Shack of Secrets. I want to say it don't matter. So. We get a note. Yeah, that's what it's called. We ate that. We ate that. We ate, bro. We get a note, and it says, Davon. Davon heart dropped to her ass. I felt it through the screen. It says, Davon, you already, I don't know what it said, but it was something along the lines of, bitch, you finna find some shit out about Jamar. Let's get to Go it. Go to this room. Ciao. And, and, <laughs> and then basically, they had her start doing a full-ass HOH A whole HOH competition. Like, like, if this big brother or ex on the beach, like, She's having to find clues. She's having a, a scavenger hunt. Basically, the, the the task is, you know, to bring these items to the screen that hit to the clues. Do you remember the clues? Specifically? Yeah, one of the clues. The first clue was, um, how did um I travel to get to Jamar? 
They both was like, well, a plane, duh. I ain't gonna walk. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, not here. Oh, oh, here, oh, here, a bow, a bow, okay. A bow. So she was like, a bow, okay. And, 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 and she was like, hold on, because I know damn well I ain't taking on no damn bus. Because she, she's a classy woman, a classy woman. A classy woman. They mom was like, I'm, I did not take a bus to see Jamar. I really didn't. So she bought um, the bus because it was just the last ditch a- answer. And it was the last thing. And the bus scan, she said, oh, this is not me. This is somebody else. And she knew. She knew then. That this is answering answer questions about somebody else. Next question. Next question. How long was the ride? Ciao. She bringing this. She bringing every clock in the room because she's thinking a realistic answer. Because, of course, 30 minutes. Driving, most. No one is riding more than an hour at least, maybe. On a bus to get a to see on that eight hours. Eight and hours. Just, and let's just pause right here. Mm-hmm. That's a shift at work. Minley, baby, look at me. Hey, with the work, right? Minley, baby, this isn't you. This isn't you. You drove eight hours on a musty ass greyhound for some birthday dick. Now. I would assume the dick must be good if you drive driving eight hours, but you ain't have anything else better to do. Because I've been on a Greyhound before. That is not a comfortable experience. Eight hours, Minley? Do you know how long an eight-hour bus ride he is? He you out? Did he pay for the bus? Like, he drove you out? Like, he rode? Like, what's going on? Like, this is very ghetto. It's given... Like you guys, like you gave you gave him Greyhound pussy. Like I wonder, was it was it fresh off the bus pussy? That's what I want to know. You drove eight. You rode eight, eight hours. I have ridden in a Greyhound for four hours from Houston to Dallas. That was forever. I rode from a Greyhound from Corpus to Dallas. How long was that? That was damn near eight hours. So she damn near riding in a damn bus. All the way through Texas. Bitches is, <laughs> one bitches, is, Texas. bitches is getting up, going to school, coming home. Bitches is going to work, coming home. People are taking full ass naps. Animals is living and dying. Bugs is being born and dead. And she on a bus. <laughs> eight hours. Right. It's on a bus. And you know she taking disconnecting buses. This bitch had to get out of you and get on another yeah. one. And the bus not going directly to that nigga house. So she done had to get at the bus stop. She, she had to wait for him I to pick her up. I hope he gave her Uber when she got there. I hope he at least get her a damn Uber. Because he damn sure couldn't get a fucking plane. I'm more disappointed than Minley. Like, I'm, like, I'm more disappointed than Minley. Minley! Millie. You can get some Baby, stand out. up. Stand up, Millie. Stand up, Millie. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Millie traveled eight hours on a bus, bus to get some dick on her birthday. <laughs> on her birthday. <laughs> Boy, you can at least that. flew her out. My thing is, an eight hour bus ride is a is a 20 minute flight. Girl, it must be good. And I heard the dick friend. must be dicking, baby. The way I want that, the way I want that, ain't he 23? Look, hey, if it's that hey. Baby, let me know. I will take the eight hour bus ride. I will. Hey, let me go ahead. And uh, my thing is, I'm not, I will pay for my own flight, <laughs> is at what least, I would do. At least, Minley, at least. Child, um, the dick must be good, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, babe, uh, she finishes the questionnaire, and now she unlocks the door, and she can open the door. Oh, wait, no, no, no. wait. Yeah. and then the last one is um, oh, God. when she you know, drove the eight hours and got there, Jamar made sure to wrap his present in the nice boat. Now, immediately... And I don't know, maybe I'm just a whore. Immediately, I caught on to that mean he put a condom on his dick. Mm-hmm. They all was confused. And she was like, well, he got her a present. I'm like, they are a Yes, the dick. Come on, thank um, you, <laughs> And she opened the present, pulled it out. Damn condoms. Damn, damn, Steve. And then she opened the door. Then she opened the door. And <laughs> this was my favorite scene of the episode. <laughs> Cause she opened, the, she opened the door. Hold on, Lee. You gonna be Minley? I'm gonna be Devon. You ready? Okay. okay so I open, I'll wait. Who asked first? I think Minley asked first. Okay. I Devon. I open the door. 
Do you know who I am? I know who you are. Do you know who I am? Devon. Hmm. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is not do you know who I am and do you know who I am? They know. Y'all know who we are. Y'all know each other. We see each other. This big brother. We good. It was given Nene and, 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 and the other person. Child. So, bitch, they sit down. Who this this honestly hurt my feelings, this conversation. Ooh, yeah. They sit down. I mean Lee and Davon, they sit down across for each other. They got their drinks. Get your cups. And basically, Min Lee, um, Davon was like, Well, Min Lee was like, What he's telling you? Davon was like, honestly, he's telling me he wants to get back with me, that he really, really likes me, and that he's here for me. Min Lee said, Oh wow. He has, because what he told me is that you are um, obsessed with him, that he doesn't like you at all, that it's very weird what you're doing, that you're always the one calling him. It was a lot. Damon was like, oh, really? And she, Min Lee was like, mm-hmm. Damon was like, let's go get his ass. And, and the thing is, is and I want to preface this by saying, it's very clear that he's doing, he's telling them both the same thing, because mm -hmm. later in, in the same episode, uh, Min Lee mentions like, oh, he, he thinks I'm obsessed with him and all these things. So like, mm -hmm. he's clearly saying the same things to both of them. Mm -hmm. And this really set Devon off because it's like, you know, now you're making her look stupid. Like she sees it now. Mm -hmm. 100%. Now you're making her look stupid because you just told her earlier that you want to try and be something, but then you just telling this girl that I'm obsessed with you? Mm -hmm. And then she went off on that nigga, as she rightfully should. She <sighs> got up in his fucking face. And, and went the fuck off. Like, nigga, you was on my phone. I broke up with your <laughs> bitch ass. Mm -hmm. And then he called himself popping off. Like, chill out, bros. Chill out, bitch. Are you gonna hit a woman? Then right, because what you gonna ass. do? He what you gonna do? On his bullshit. How the fuck that work? Ricky's die room killed me because Ricky was really sitting there marking your Chill out. Stop. 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 <laughs> and it's like, boy, calm he down. First of all, you can tell Jamar got caught because Jamar didn't know what to say. He was like, "Why y'all doing this to me, bro? Why y'all acting like this, bro?" What? And then, oh, and then, oh, it hurt me because that he was like, "Why would you just believe what she said?" And she was like, "Cause it matches up with your actions. You don't mm -hmm. act like you like me, and everyone sees it." And like, mm -hmm. I feel like that really hurt me because I felt in that moment, like you know, how she kind of could have felt. Like I'm mm -hmm. thinking. Are they saying that? Like, imagine she's in the house and they're saying, well, he doesn't like she wants to be here. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, what, like, that's just like, why am I here? And why yeah. am I even entertaining this? Like, don't play in my face. It's that yeah. simple. Like, he's a child. He's a child. He deserves to be with someone childish, like Minley, ground, uh, Greyhound Pussy Ass. Like, <laughs> my thing is, I feel bad because you can tell Davon was actually interested. Like, whether it had been, like, very, very serious or not, like, you could tell she was actually, like, you know mm -hmm. what, like, this guy kind of cute, like, he kind of funny, he kind of cool, he kind of whatever, you know, she was kind of interested in this dude. Child. So, they have an argument, and um, it happens, it happens, it over. The next morning. Oh, God. Why am I finna cry? The next morning, Jamar talks to Davon, and basically, he's like, hey, I would like to talk. And Davon's like, um, what's up? What you gotta say? And Jamar's like, well, I just want you to know that my intentions was never to make you feel stupid, look stupid. I bullshit. I think he should have he straight up lying through this conversation. Bullshit. A nigga is going to say whatever they can to get you back leached on mm -hmm. and if it, it, it's on you whether you bite or not. Because mm -hmm. if you bite, you show him that he has power over you. He can go and do whatever the fuck he wants, mm -hmm. and you won't care. Basically, what he does to Ben Lee's stupid ass later on. <laughs> and Davon is like, honestly, um, we can't. I thought you was, she said, I thought you were my friend. And I thought just as a friend, you would you never make me look stupid like this. You would never do this to me. Like, this was wrong. So she was like, we're done. Like, I can't be your friend. I can't be your nothing, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's over. And right there, it, it's over. And I, Knowing Davon, I know oh, exactly. Davon. It's over. Like, if you know her from any show, Davon does not like to be made like an idiot, like a fool, especially on no, no motherfucking TV. Mm -mm. And if you do, it's done. And the thing is, like she said, she, she had a confessional. She said, honestly, look at me and look at him. Yes, baby, it was a, that was a damn downgrade. But guess what, girl? You had your fun. You had your it fun. Was it was cool for the summer, you know? That's all that was. It was cute for the summer. You know, you 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 still you still young. You can still have your fun. You can still mm -hmm. do your thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, he missed out. 
but he's dumb. Really? He doesn't even know he's dumb. He is literally on a whole different mentality from Davon. Different tax know. bracket, different <laughs> mindset, different everything, babe. Everything. He is he's not, not on a level. To be. I just hate that. She, I just hate that he met, he affected her that way that she felt like she had to cry because mm -hmm. he is nobody to be crying over. And nobody, nobody, child. So after the combo with Davon. Even the whole host, even the, the whole voiceover host of the motherfucking episode is cracking jokes at how this so man funny. this man went from <laughs> went from went from talking to Davon and the host was like, Oh, we'll give you time to grieve Jamar. Jamar walks into the other room, Min Lee. Can we talk? Pop me like a weirdo. He's such a creep, bro. He's such a fucking weirdo. Oh, weirdo. So he pulled like Min Lee to the side. It's it's up to you to bite the bait or not. And you got clearly a smart woman who's, you know, doing bigger and better things in your life. And you got a dumbass bitch who gonna bite the motherfucking bait. So Min Lee, he literally damn near says the same damn thing to Min Lee. And Min Lee is like, <laughs> I don't know, like, you just, you get on my nerves. And like, I want you to be honest. With, I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be honest. I just want you to be honest. And he's like, honestly, like, I just despise you. And that shit, like, turned her on or something. She was, Min Lee did say earlier in her intro, she's like, I love arguing with a nigga because when I argue with a nigga, that shit turn me on. She did say and that. she didn't she say a nigga, nigga to be clear, but she might. She didn't say nigga. She did not say. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I love arguing with a boy because I don't even remember what term she used, but she didn't say the N word. Anyway, so I, I know that when Jamar was like, you despise me, that shit made her pussy wet. And it's like, girl, like, you clearly are also 23. Like, and I'm 23 too, but I'm not going to have a nigga making me look dumb because she looked just as dumb as Davon do, if not more, because she's literally sitting here letting this nigga da 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 in her. Like, girl. Currently 23. Girl. That would be. How old is Minley? You looking it up? I'm looking up how old he is now. Currently. Because that I was. I don't know who he is. I don't. Because, you know, he's not famous or nothing. So, like. <laughs> It's true. Oh, he's 25. He's now 25. So he's as probably old. as filming, he's 25. He is too old. He is too Child. old. Anyway, Nip so I, she probably too, she probably same age. 25. Too old. Why your mouth drop? Is this her? Looking what? Oh, this, I want to see. That bitch is 30. Child! Let me not age shame. I'm an age shame. Millie, you old ass got on the Greyhound. My thing is, even if that was three years ago, you was 27. Even if that was four years ago, you were 26. True. She cannot be 30. Uh, hold on. Millie and Win. Win, I believe, is her last name. <gasps> that bitch is 30. 30 years old? Millie, you got so old ass <laughs> on an eight hour Greyhound. So no, stop it. I can't. I can't. I'm done with Greyhound pussy. I'm so done. So Jamar, 25 year old ass, went to Minley and was like, "I literally hate you." And Minley pussy dropped, and she literally was like, "Do you? You hate me?" And he was like, "I hate you." And so I think Minley is really gonna try to like get in with with Jamar. So that's cute. We see on the next episode preview she is popping off, but. That's what she there for. I, I, Min Lee seems like that type of girl. I hate to say it, babe. Love you. Min Lee seems like that type of girl to just keep going back to a nigga who's going to do her dirty. She seems like the type of girl who kind of like a nigga who's going to do her dirty. And look, I'm not going to sit here and lie. I I have experience mm -hmm. liking a nigga who's going to do me dirty. Like, a nigga who's going to, you know, ignore my message? Like, wait. Okay. No, and... and <laughs> I can definitely see that, but it's just like, bro, like. But you too damn old. I, I mean, my twenty three year old ass can do that. But no, but like, also, I'm doing that in the privacy of my room, baby. Don't be on national TV. <laughs> like, I'm off and have your fun because the dick gotta be good, Minley. That's the thing. It's like I'm dragging you, but I feel like for eight hours, the dick has to be at least eight inches big. So <laughs> therefore, I'm not gonna hold you too much. I'm not, <sighs> I'm not gonna hold Minley. I'm I've really done, not. I've done some things with some dick. I ain't gonna lie, but not eight hours. Not eight hours. Not eight. Mm -mm. Maybe it's the personality. Not eight hours. 
Like I'm trying to put myself in my mindset. We gonna move on from uh Greyhound Pussy. So can we cuss on this? I guess it's our I- podcast. Anyways, um on YouTube. Oh we have to we may have to bleep it. I'm not bleeping all them damn customers out. They gonna have to bleep it. Oh, we ain't getting paid for it anyway, so. We should not get paid. Uh, Ray. So, <laughs> Ray and Kettle have been... Kettle. Wow, first of all, Ray is messy as hell. Ray is messy. Why is messy? Why is Ray in everybody... Literally, he, he instigated the David and uh, Ricky B. And then as soon as Davon saw all the mess with uh, Min Lee... He comes straight out and stand right next to uh Jamar. Jamar, because he knew shit was about to come. Talking about ooh, Jamar, they're coming. Jamar, 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 Jamar. 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 Like, boy, if you don't but Jamar, so is is he happy to be messy. All of that shit. Majority of his diary rooms was him being messy. That's what's crazy. Child, <laughs> so oh, right at the beginning of the episode, Ray has a con- conversation with Arise. And basically, Ray is like, Yeah, I mean. I like Caro and mm-hmm. I want to do good by Caro. Da 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 da. I don't trust Ray. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, here's how I'm feeling. We know Jamar ain't shit. I kind of trust Ricky. I don't trust Ray. I won't say Ray ain't shit. It's not confirmed. Yeah. No nigga is anything though. No, no. every nigga ain't shit. It's but with with Ray, life. like for example, with Jamar, it's confirmed. He's an ain't shit nigga. Ray is not confirmed yet. Because the only, I do feel like I the only thing believe, he has is with Carl. I want to believe that even if some shit come up from his past, I I want to believe he wouldn't do that in front of uh, Carl face. Mm-hmm. I want to say that, but you never know. You never know. So Ray and Carl. Um, oh, that happens. Ray is saying that he wants to be cool with Carl or whatever. They don't have much this episode actually. Um, because mm-hmm. it doesn't get brought up again until when? Like the end? Yeah, literally, because it's the preview of the next episode. Literally the preview for next episode. And we see that Ray's ex is going to possibly, possibly, possibly come in the house. And we see Carol having a scene where she's like, she's like, he did. And she's like, you need to tell me every, you need to tell me the truth. Mm-hmm. All Carol wants is for Ray to just tell her the truth. I think Carol genuinely does like Ray. She um, be- does she really does? And I, I think like, Ray. So I don't know. I don't you know. You could just like she. You could, she just has this like really really positive energy. Like throughout the episode, she was just always like there. You know what I mean? Like yes. she was really like I'm there yes. for you. Like because let's this, let's think about this. And she, like I just want her to be happy. Yeah, it's like Minley. I hope that nigga do not play my bitch. Minley had just came in the house and it was like a whole argument going on. And Minley was heated during the argument with Davon and Jamar too. And here come Carol. Minley, let's talk. I know you don't know me, but girl, like, don't cry over that nigga. Like, just met her. And da 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 da. Like, Carol was right there for that girl. Carol been there for the girls. When Carol was talking to Jamar, she was talking to Jamar for Davon. Not trying yes, to, exactly. not none of that. She was like, so how you feel about Davon for real? Carol is. Carol's my girl for and real. In the preview that Dave Arnold will be there for Carol next episode. And it's just like, I love that. Like, that's so I, I really hope, I really hope whatever it is, like, it's not nothing too bad. Or like, you know, because mm-hmm. personally, I just wish she would just, you know, move on from him. But if he's serious Damn. about wanting to work it out, I hope they can. Yeah. Uh, I don't like, trust him. Better. I, I don't want- trust him at all. I don't trust him at all. I don't trust him at all. And I understand Carol. Carol, babe. I get it. Ray is the finest man in that house. Yeah. Ray is fine. Ray is beautiful. Definitely understandable. Beautiful beautiful skin. Beautiful smile. I love his smile. I feel like they're really cute together. I feel like I want to go back and watch Love Island. Like, I really... I really want to go back and watch Love Island, though. I really want to go back and watch Love Island because they're so cute together. I love them all. They wasn't not shit on Love Island, from what I recall. I'm gonna keep saying it. Like I loved them on Love Island. I love them, but I know <laughs> him. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So yes, it seems like previews for next episode, Carol and Ray might be getting a little heated again. So that's interesting. It seems like Min Lee and Jamar might get a little heated. So that's interesting, and that's what all. Oh. And it seemed like Jamar was pipe. No, Mike was trying to pipe up to Jamar. Girl, Mike is such a, a stunt queen. Like, Mike mm, wants baby. to be the star of the show. Let him have his moment. 
let him do what he got to do. Yeah. I know, like, that's the thing. I don't even like Jamar. And I'm like, Jamar, please work his ass. Like, I just feel like I hate someone who feel like they have to be the center of attention. That's what it's getting. Yes, girl. You banging your like you banging your hand on the table. Hit me. I'm right here. Who? Who? Oh. Hit me. I'm right here. So, so basically, that's what happened during the episode. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot. That was a, good, was, amount. That was a good episode. I really hope. I want to say I think I was really, really interested because it's Davon and Davon is my bitch. Um, <laughs> right, I love her. And but you know, next episode is Brandon Caro, and I have I have grown to like them a lot, lot because I didn't know them coming into this, mm-hmm. and now that I know who they are, I really enjoy them a lot. So I'm really mm-hmm. interested in that storyline. Mm-hmm. Um, that's really it so far it, because I don't mm-hmm. think I'm gonna care too much about Jamar Minley because it's getting yeah, yeah, yeah. and shows. So honestly, I hope to just see Davon, you know, still getting random di- diary rooms and commenting on stuff. <laughs> Period. No, I love love, so I'm actually checking for Ricky and Darren because I genuinely think they uh, actually yeah. like each other. But that's just because I'm into like the lovey dovey stuff and like the but, genuine shit. No shade, but all this other stuff. Uh. She's gonna be on that. Let me make him nervous. Yeah, I'm like, I don't, I don't got time for that. <sighs> we gonna see. Um, but I'm gonna still be checking for Ray and Carol because the Ray and Carol drama might last forever. And if she there, then I'm here. You know, I like Carol a lot. I like Ray a lot. And that's it. That's fuck Jamar. Um, and Davon is done. Davon is unless they want to bring back Davon X for nine years, which child they ain't got the ball. They, they do not need to do. But unless that's that happens, real drama. Then we the reality TV shit. Child, that's some real drama. But uh yes, girl, I'm excited for the rest of the season. Episode two down, episode, episode three on the show usually have 12, 13, 14. Well, yeah, that's a lot of episodes of drama. It's only 12, 13, or 14. Yeah, they just keep bringing X's on and on and on. So are they all just gonna be there? I think they might all just gonna be there. Because it's already what 10 damn niggas in the house, 12. They yeah, just gonna focus on 14 episodes. 14 episodes. They're just gonna focus on certain people. Yeah, time like, time. start watching y'all. So we don't really know everything is happening. Like, you know, we, we here. We, we here though. Um, yeah, that's it. Period. Make sure you follow us uh at, on our Instagram and on our Twitter at T Reality Kingdom or whatever. If you want to keep up with the shit we doing or whatever. Um and see us next week as we cover the next episode of X on the Beach. If you are into Big Brother or Survivor or other reality shows, go ahead and check out our other videos, our other podcasts, and check us out weekly because we are posting weekly, period, or whatever. And, and subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to the uh, subscribe podcast. To share. Let and us share. know who we are. If you're interest, interested in us, share. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's giving share. <laughs> uh, we will see y'all next time. Per bye. <laughs>